Ontario's McMaster University is the home of MARC, the McMaster Automotive Resource Centre, which recently became home to a first-of-its-kind partnership that'll train future generations of engineers, scientists, and leaders to develop new mobility solutions and address complex problems facing transportation systems. A hands-on research approach will allow students to gain valuable real-life experience in applying new skills in the field. That's a key success factor after graduation. If you're a student looking to get involved in helping populations move around more efficiently, you're sure to find some interesting avenues of study at MARC. Partnering with Cubic Transportation Systems, or CTS, McMaster University launched the Center of Excellence for Artificial Intelligence and Smart Mobility, a long-term program focused on developing tools and skills to design the future of inclusive mobility through collaboration between government, academia, and the public and private sectors. Experts from MARC will work together with experts from CTS, a leading provider of transportation and traffic management solutions, to help students address complex issues facing transportation systems through multidisciplinary research. Technical areas of focus include data analytics, computer vision, and machine learning, and the program's design foundation centers around accessibility and inclusion to ensure mobility works for all citizens. Students will be able to work on projects from research to implementation in areas such as leveraging AI and machine learning techniques, integrating and controlling smart devices, infrastructure, traffic, and environmental conditions to improve and optimize mobility as a whole. Other research will develop scenario simulations to help build, test, and validate innovations before real-world implementation. Hannah Hapanenko is a postdoctoral fellow and project manager at MARC. She says congestion reduction and public transit accessibility are the primary focus, adding that typically 8 out of 10 cars are filled with one occupant, the driver. Hapanenko says that only 25% of Canadians in dense urban areas like Toronto or Vancouver use public transit to get to work, compared to 50% in European cities. She says the problem of congestion will not be solved with short-term solutions, such as building more roads and infrastructure for single-driver cars. According to Hapanenko, by partnering with Cubic Transportation Systems, the program is working to innovate mass transit mobility systems for travelers. Graduates of the program will work to help city and highway authorities get accurate forecasts of traffic buildup and queues over the next few hours, allowing traffic management centers to respond early and alleviate predicted congestion. Hapanenko says that this year they're building innovative applications of artificial intelligence and neural nets to do precisely that. Students can also take part in designing these smart intersections of the future, which can detect and respond to their surroundings in real time to optimize travel time and fuel efficiency for all vehicles on the route while reducing congestion. Hapanenko says we're researching smarter sensors for detecting traffic cues and congestion and combining them with existing technologies such as radar with AI-based computer vision techniques. Students will develop new solutions to get more people using public transit options and shared mobility services. Currently, the MARC is developing innovative solutions for smartphone and augmented reality-based programs that help users navigate busy train stations more quickly or rapidly identify the best route to a working elevator or the best exit for a particular bus stop. Students will also use virtual reality to help build accessible transportation solutions too. For students looking to learn about and gain experience with the incoming wave of Next Generation Autonomous Vehicles, or AVs, the MARC is a one-stop shop. According to Hapanenko, students gain hands-on experience by directly optimizing radar and camera sensor perception models, using machine learning to analyze hotspots of congestion and energy-inefficient driving, as well as creating apps to help travelers of all accessibility backgrounds navigate their surroundings more seamlessly. The MARC offers a variety of programs from undergraduate, master's, and doctorate-level research posts to full-time internships, co-ops, and research engineer positions. There's a place for every experience level or commitment period, says Hapanenko. Mark is flexible and, due to the vast pool of expertise and resources, can accommodate a diverse set of research interests. <laughs>